So this is my latest little DIY project, which is a, a flying sea spinner. Hopefully in a week, I'm off to Scotland, and I might get the chance to do a bit of trout fishing in a lock. Because I'm making most of the components of this lure myself, I've used quite a range of tools and materials. It's all pretty standard stuff which has been bought at local hardware shops and the, and the fishing tackle shop. I'm just going to point out some items. For the spinner blade I'm using brass sheet here and this is a 0.4 of a millimetre, I think just a little under 20 thousandths uh, of an inch. I've got the body wire which is stainless steel MIG welding wire and this is 0.8 um, millimetre which is roughly 30 thousandths of an inch, I remember. Uh, rather than use silicon tubing, I'm using heat shrink electrical tubing. That's 10 mil, roughly, 3 eighth of an inch. Um, the weight is a lead-free, uh, just a barrel weight. I think this is 8 grams, about a third of an ounce. So it's quite a light weight for a flying sea. Um, it's lead-free. The place I'm going to be fishing, hopefully, um, supplies drinking water to the local village. So I don't want to be dropping any lead in there. Uh, tools wise, the only really unusual item are these jewellery or beading pliers. I bought these for about, I think it was £3 off the internet, which is ridiculously cheap. Um, but what they do is they have a round section and it, and it fits into a U. So it's kind of quite nice for forming bends and eyes. The rest of it I'll just put on a list to go with the PDF. There should be a link at the bottom to my blog where that PDF will be displayed. So I've cut about six inches off my coil of MIG wire and I'm just going to take a standard pair of pliers and just straighten that out just by gently bending it back on itself, hopefully without putting any kinks in it. So once I'm kind of happy that's, that's getting somewhere near straight, I'm going to take my weight and just slide it on. Um, and then my jewellery pliers, and I'm just going to kind of pull that out of touch and put a bend in the wire. Let's change the angle there. So I'm going to make a shoulder by just bending that back and then kind of wrapping not all the way round. and then make another shoulder so I've got that kind of shape then it's a case of taking my hook and just sliding that on um, my weight I'm going to slide on from the other end and I'm going to thread this both bits of wire through to create the skirt that's going to cover that I just need to put this to one side and get hold of some tubing so this is the heat shrink tube and, and it's a little longer than it needs to be and I'm, I'm going to trim that later. But the first job I need to do is just um, cut the kind of tail shape. And what I want is, is, is three pieces on the tail, obviously because it's a treble hook. So. Let's see what that does. There we go. So when that shrinks down you'll see the three pieces. So I'm back with my weight and my wire and I'm going to take my sheath and just slide it over and down and then just manipulate my hook so it sits in each of the three slots. There we go. So to shrink the tubing down I'm just going to use the steam from this jug kettle. So I'm just going to turn it on and bring it to the boil. So once I'm happy that's shrunk down properly and the hook's sitting where it should be um, I'm going to take a craft knife and just trim this this end here There we go So 
So then I'm going to slide on my plastic bead and also a little tiny glass bead that's going to act as a bearing. Next is the clevis and the blade. So to create the clevis I've taken another piece of wire about three or four inches long and just straightened it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jewellery pliers again and, and put a a U-bend in it. And that's going to give me the U of the, the clevis. So then I'm going to take a straight piece of wire, this is my other piece of wire, which is about one mil, forty thousandths of an inch, and a pair of snipe nose pliers. And just kind of Grip them both together. And then it's a case of just twisting the tag ends round on themselves. On both sides. There we go. I'm going to slide that off now. So then I'm going to cut these tag ends, this might be a bit difficult to see, but I've got a pair of side cutters and I'm going to cut um, kind of between the loop. There we go, there's one. And then that's... Just do the other. There we go. So I've kind of come in as close as I can there, and you can see it almost looks like bull's horns, or ram's horns. Um, these are kind of splayed out, these ends, so what I need to do is change pliers again, uh, straighten things up, and then close these eyes. So I'm gripping these in a large pair of pliers, and I'm taking my small pliers, and I'm, I'm going to straighten these up, these eyes. and then just uh, close them up. That should be it. Because a quick test, I've threaded it onto the spinner and I'm just going to see if it spins freely and it obviously does. Now it's a case of making the blade. So to make the blade I've printed out a template which I'll make available uh, there'll be a link underneath the video um, and I've taken, this is just printed out on a standard printer and I've cut out one of the templates, this is a size 4 blade I just stuck it to a piece of brass using a, just a, a kids glue stick um, and then really the first job to do is, is punch out the hole and what I'm using here is a 2mm panel pin and what I've done is I've just snipped the end off um, and flattened it with a sharpening stone and I'm going to place that over the template there where the hole is, get a hammer into a piece of wood and hopefully that should make my hole. Then it's just a case really of cutting to the template and I'm using my kitchen scissors again here. So to create the curve in the blade, I'm going to take a dessert spoon and lay it in there, and then just uh, give it a tap with the back of the ball. You can see the tops come off there, and that should just give it a nice little bow. So just before I put the blade on the clevis, I'm just going to go round with a. This is a actually a nail file just to check if there's any sharp edges that seems okay then it's a case of just peeling off the plastic cover 
a shiny blade underneath. There we go. To attach the clevis I've put it back in these little pliers because with an eye it often needs a little bit of persuasion but it should just slide on. There we go. Then it's a case of sliding it on. To finish off the spinner and create the eye I'm back with my jewellery pliers and I'm just going to put another bend in for my shoulder and then wrap this around and I'm going to come back so it's about 90 degrees then it's just a case of, of wrapping this wire tightly around the shank probably a, a couple of turns is enough let's go for three then and then back with my end cutters I'm going to get in as, as tight as I can there snip off that tag end maybe just squeeze it down a bit so that's it, that's my flying sea finished I can take it off down the lock and see if I can find some trout